of Open Strings October. We are halfway through the program and I really hope you are enjoying warming up for your practice time with myself and of course Chelly. Now that we've had a couple videos for the program, I wanted to give you dolls some quick reminders. I would love to see your practice room adventures, whether it's a selfie with your cello, some progress videos, whatever you want to share, please do it on social media using the hashtag OpenStringsOct for October. Yes. And that will allow Chelly and I to encourage you, help you to encourage one another, and it would be really fun. And second, we have a live stream coming up at the end of the month. And this is your chance to ask questions about the Open Strings program in real time. If you have questions about a specific exercise in the program or something about your bowing technique, so be sure to check out our program calendar. I have all the dates, all the videos you have to do, so it is very clear cut, straightforward, and on that calendar is our live stream, and I would not want you to miss that. If you do have to miss it, I leave all of my live streams up after the fact, and it's very likely you dolls have common questions, so don't worry, it will be available to watch after the fact. Now, week three is string crossings, and there are two things I really want you dolls to keep in mind. The first one, is that we tend to over exaggerate the motion we need to cross our strings. So I want you to take your bow for a second. Let's put it on A and D. And I'm putting my hair on both strings and I want you to tilt a little bit up to the A so that the D string has some space under there. And now down to the D so the A has some space. Notice I am using my wrist. Your wrist has a lot of range of motion. So I want you to hold your bow with the left hand and do some flicks. Look at that range of motion in your wrist. It's huge. Often I see big motions for tiny string crossings. So if you see your tip going crazy, or if you see the frog going like it's doing some leapfrogs, then the motion is way too big and you're using more of your bow arm than you need to. We don't need a lot of movement. So let's go back to our D string. Tilt up to the A, down to the D. Up the A, down to the D. And do this flicking motion with your wrist. That's just a small step, but these upcoming exercises are really going to help you feel that out and experiment. Now the second tip that ties into this small motion is the bow crossing smear. Now of course, you have probably worked very hard to play cleanly on your individual strings, but for this exercise, I want you to not be afraid to smear the string crossing and to have a little bit of a double stop happening. If that happens during this video, that is absolutely fine. You can always take away that smear rather than having two notes that are disjunct and separate and a little robotic. No, no, no. <laughs> so often I find there's hesitance to connect the string crossing. Sometimes there's a gap in between and that can really break up a melodic phrase or cause there to be an awkward breath in someone's playing. This smearing is going to help you to learn to connect your string crossings, and then you can do a little more of our wrist tilt 
maybe 10% of the bow arm is helping as well, and it will eventually eliminate that smear. All right, my dolls, let's jump right into it with some slurred half note long tones. Again, really try your best to get from the frog to the tip, and don't be afraid to smear that string crossing. Projects. 
Also, if you would like to support Chelly and I further, you can join our community on Patreon where you can get exclusive content or you can leave a one-time donation using the links in the description below. Again, bravo to you for dedicating this time to practicing and working on your tone production with your cello. Shelly and I are thrilled that you are here and thank you so much for joining us and watching this video. We'll see you next time for the final video of the program and in the meantime, happy practicing my dolls. Bye-bye!